my only watch kit just arrived. So let's install it. Starting unboxing the kit itself. Very cute sticker on the front. Made in Canada. There we go. Oh, okay. Scan the QR code, download the app, follow the step by step. I already have the app downloaded. All right, it comes with a sticker, little NFC tag. I don't know if I'm gonna use it yet, so leave it in the box. And the kit, I'm gonna leave it in for now. To install it, it's pretty easy. Just remove the four screws. Remove the back plate. Take the watch itself out, which is the most annoying part. There we go. Take the movement itself part, remove those little clips all around, finally, back part off. Uh, if I remember, if I remember, no, we need to remove the battery. Well, remove the board itself. Here is the Oli Watch board, circuit board, whatever is the correct way to say it. Oh, sorry. Comparing to the original, they're pretty similar but the only watch is much more powerful. Remove the battery from the original. There we go, there's a little bit of tape on there and we need to take this piece as well. If you have tweezers or some more precise tools, you can try and squeeze from here. I'm gonna try to use my hands just to Prove that you don't need special tools, and you clearly don't. <laughs> okay, original Casio board, now not useless, but it's not gonna be in use no more. <laughs> Put the battery contacts on the Oli board. Is it in? Yes. Oh, frick. Okay, one side, other side. Okay. So, right? Battery. Come on, battery. Over here. And plate on top of everything. Awesome. Why aren't you clipping in? There we go. Good. Only one to go. Only one to go. All right, it's installed. Now I just need to put everything back together. Careful when screwing back in to not strip the screws. And there we go. Now to connect to the app, 
I'll need another camera because my phone is my camera. I almost forgot a very important step when disassembling the screen. You really need to pay attention to this strip here. Oh my god, I cannot grab it. To this strip here. It's the contact strip that interfaces the screen with the rest of the watch. To install the NFC chip with the watch taken apart and the movement almost completely disassembled, you need to remove the screen. So pull back this little tab here and the screen should come out. It's made of two layers, but mine has a third one and it's another mod that I tried to do for diffusing. From what I understand, you need to glue the NFC chip on the matte side of the diffuser and the clear side goes to the back of the watch. That must be it. To configure this NFC chip there are a few apps for Android and probably for Apple products as well. I don't know, I use an Android. But you can do a little bit of research, I'm sure you will find an option for the iPhone as well. Here on the Android App Store let's install the app. The app is now installed. Now with the app open, I deleted a lot of stuff so it can work because I, I was already using it. Let's try and sync the watch. Hold the button until the lab starts blinking, until the name appears and the lab starts blinking. Allow for it to look for nearby devices. And there we go, it found the watch, finally. It's connecting, great, pairing code, yeah, it does match. And hello to my new watch. I'm gonna sign in later, but I already have an account. And here's the app. Here it's, it's gonna first sync the time. So it's syncing and it's doing its thing while it does it we can look around the app. Here it's gonna show your steps, the heart rate, if you count it. Hmm, there was an error, why? Okay, it looks like I fixed the error, so the time is now correct. The main page is gonna show your steps, your heart rate, if you choose to monitor it, and the temperature. Here, down here, he's gonna generate a few charts, and events if you save like labs, timer and stuff like that. It also generates a little calendar so you can go back to the other days. Now that the watch is paired and I'm logged in, I can show you guys the charts. The charts, there we go. It shows a few charts and that you can go back on the month, the year, the week, whatever you want. The alarm you can set on the app as well, if whatever days you want it to sound, what time, if you want snooze, what chime do you want, I like to use Galactic, what hours the hourly chime is gonna be on, I like to let it on from 6 to 10 in the night. The timer you can also set up all from the app, the faces are one of the most fun parts of the watch. You can choose what faces you want to show up on the watch itself. All of the features will still work, no matter if they are on or off. And you can also reorder everything. So let's say I want game A to come second place. I can just reorder it and and to watch, it's still connected because the lab is there. While this updates, you can also mess with a lot of stuff, so like time, 
this is where you're gonna set up what country you are on for example so it can get the correct time from your phone device here there's a few presets and you can customize it them a lot even changing the name here i'm gonna leave it as only because i like it but if you want the screen to turn off and only turn on when you twist your wrist what color of backlight you want the time it takes for the screen to turn off again if the light button is hold or how many seconds the light should stay on the brightness of the backlight if the heart rate monitor starts counting when you turn the watch towards you you can mess around with a lot of stuff even muting all the chimes and audio mute so only when it uh, finishes a timer or your alarm will sound even if the audio is muted there are tutorials here in the user manual so you can use the most of your watch i recommend you guys exploring the app by yourselves but i wanted to give an overview let's say it